and the media in this country. The darkest recesses of your industry really laid bare this week, Paul. I mean, something had to give, didn't it? Uh, indeed, but what a loss. I mean, it's going to be... I mean, the biggest loss, I think, is that we're going to lose... Well, I mean, I, I've always said that I've just tried to write articles in a truthful way and, you know, what better source of uh, getting the truth is to listen to someone's messages. Now, that might sound frivolous, but, um, you know, several celebrities have called us uh, evil and scum, whereas all we've ever tried to do... Uh, but, what, but what right have you got to listen to their messages? What um, possible right? I'll tell you what, let's, let's, I, I, let's bring I, I in Steve Coogan, shall we? The, I have to say, I think you're a walking PR disaster for the tabloids because you don't come across in a sympathetic way. You come across as a sort of risible individual who is, is, is symptomatic of everything that's wrong with the tabloids well, because, you're, because, you're, because your attitude is, we're just selling newspapers or we're, we're, we're investigative journalists, we're trying to tell the truth. You're not uncovering corruption. You're not uncovering, you know, bringing down institutions that are inherently corrupt. You're finding yeah, out, you're, finding you out you're just trying to you find do. out Who's sleeping with who? Yeah, but if it's you about want selling. Have, it's if you about want to selling have new free papers. press and a decent That's democracy. Absolute, you need a free absolute. press. Absolutely, absolutely. You've got nothing to do with a free press or a decent absolute democracy. Absolute garbage. You're hiding behind. So you're if, hiding, if this you're hiding silences the, the press and we're no it's, longer able it's not to catch si politicians with their trousers down, fiddling their expenses. That's a big loss. You're not. The whole. Just let Paul answer. Go on. If this brings about a law that silences the press so we can no longer catch politicians uh, lying and cheating to the electorate who voted them in, so you I've always said a you, were a, a small, you a, were a small a price to pay. Why, why I'm not a politician? Why go after me? Millie Dowler's relatives are politicians. Why go after them? You, it's no, morally that, that bankrupt. To, you, and you are morally bankrupt. The, the, the whole yeah. notion of, of press freedom yeah, well, is a I... smokescreen for selling newspapers with tittle-tattle. And you hide behind this whenever it comes up. It's absolute BS. Yeah, but you've got a publicist. Or you, you spend your entire life I trying don't... to get in the newspapers, no, trying to no, get I in don't. magazines, I, trying I to get in the movies. No, I don't fact, give interviews, I don't work. Give interviews to the tabloids. I don't do it because I'm interested in... In, in writing and entertaining the public with the, the, the comedy and that I write. With the comedy movie, that I write. Perhaps. With the comedy that I write. How many right. Murdoch movies with, have you been with, in? With, listen, I, 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 deal, I deal with Rupert Murdoch already. I deal with his, so his organisation. Because I'm talking just... about tabloid newspapers and the muckraking that you do. So you and take the hide, money, you, you take hide, five million you, quid a movie, you hide, and then five. you bleat about someone. Oh, he's listened to our messages. Let me just ask you something. Let me just ask you something. If these means were used, for example, to hunt down, you know, Ian Huntley instead of the Soham girls' uh, families, would we find that less morally reprehensible? I put it to you, the answer is probably yes, right? There, you, you could see there are occasionally, very occasionally, public interest cases. But most of the time, no. Yeah, well, most of the but isn't the point that as soon as you legislate... These you... guys just phone-tapped anybody they could think of. Okay. Do you know what I'll say about the news of the world? Well, even point even like something me, when it looks laudable, like uh, uh, Sarah's Law, something like that, has nothing to do with some moral imperative on the behalf of the... Tablet. I was very it's proud all, of naming it's and all, shaming. It's I was all, the let me who did it. It's all to do with selling newspapers. If you do something, something laudable to sell newspapers or something despicable, it's about selling newspapers. That, There's that no one of the let, few ethics at all. However strongly you feel about this, do you look at this inquiry or the possibility of regulation go, hurrah, it's all going to be fine. No, I think, no, but I think it, it may temper the behaviour. I think what's happened is the broadsheets have colluded to some extent with the tabloids because they think that the price of a free press is letting these people shovel crap. And the thing is, you don't have to do that. You so, can have a free press and you can regulate uh, so, the, well, the, the, well, the, the, the press. Should, what's on, your fear? What's your fear, Paul? The, that the if world is going to be on. a better place because we'll no longer be able to expose silly celebrities for taking coke and cheating on their wives, which, to be honest, I always found a bit of fun um, and you know what's the, so what are you saying the world will be that, a better place if no, you are regulated but is that in the public guy, interest the, the only this good thing about wait a wait a sat you? outside my house I sat out, this guy sat outside my house. It's just a risible, it's a nice deplorable... House. You were in the green de room talking about the number of new houses you bought the, the, this the, 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 the year. Oh, you know, we all feel profession. terribly sorry for you. OK, what do you think is going to actually change? What do you think is actually going to change in the tabloid press from, you know, this year to next? Well, there's going to have to be regulation. There's no doubt. And the idea that it's going to be a voluntary system... But this system is illegal is, anyway. Is, is this is illegal. Is Phone hacking is illegal. Yes, Why do you need at, Ofcom? But, but look at... Yeah, or whatever, a regulator, you know. Well... If you look at broadcasting, I mean, these guys who sit here saying, oh, well, it's at the end of the freedom of the press, it's nonsense. Broadcasting has always been regulated. And broadcasters do, I would say, a much greater job and a much better job than half of the tabloid press in serious issues. What he's talking about is just 
tittle-tattle. But you know what? There are a lot of times when the news of the world gets an amazing scoop and it exposes the thing that everyone wanted to know about. And then everyone's praising them. And the fake shake did this and we brought down them. Nobody complains very, about it then. Very occasionally. Hitler was nice to dogs. Yeah, and exactly, that's why we don't have a Hitler in this country. We have nice politicians, oh. like nice Mr Clegg, because the bad guys get exposed. They walk into the media you know, spotlight the you and we immediately catch them out for being do. corrupt. When did you I last, know. Ex I tell we you last expose a bad guy? You don't yeah. do that, you shovel... SHI yeah, charity. okay, so we, we shovel that to sell five million copies. So Is when the one smaller? good story comes along, five oh, million people that, read it. Paul, and that can means I ask you something? Right. I didn't realise you were you, on a moral you, crusade, you, I'm sorry. You what? keep coming on and you're you know, good to do so, but you seem like a slightly tortured soul. Are you, are you questioning what you do now more than you did in the past? Are you going to stop doing it? Um, well, no, I've always been a journalist and I've always tried to uh, write articles that titillate, entertain and shine, shine a bit of light well, onto the grubby, shallow lives that some people who present themselves and do, and in a completely well, different I'm still life. Can I just say that I've spent most of my life being a journalist and I'm nothing to do with him and nor are most journalists. I don't think you're fit to be called a journalist. I think there are some excellent journalists, but you're not a journalist. You know you're not, deep oh, yeah, down. I just you keep trying to journal justify yourself. Day, you, you keep know? being wheeled you, out this whole week do you think, no one else can, can be bothered to. Do you think the, the, well, do you think the public well, is still with you? Okay, a load of celebrities are just jumping on the back of this Hugh Grant. I haven't done a movie for two years. So-called celebrities were the people your newspaper and, and a lot of other tabloids and a lot of the right-wing press did not uh, uh, pursue this story at all. It was this, there was a, a, a one column okay, piece in the but Sunday Steve, other day. But Steve Kuhn, just, just, just respond to that because there are people saying, you know what, there are a lot of celebs out there who do court the press, I'm who do love the press. I'm not jumping on a bandwagon. I'm not going to make any money out of this. If I, I'm lucky, I'll cover my costs. If, I, if, I'm, if they give me any damages, I'll give it to some victim support group. I'm not interested in money. I'm not interested in the But publicity. the wider I, question is about using the tabloid press to, to put yourself out there. I mean, a I lot don't, of people... What, if the News of the World never wrote another word about me, I'd be delighted. Uh, well, uh, uh, or its successor, the, the Sun on Sunday. I don't, I don't court them at all. No, you do. You walk no, down I a red don't. carpet and you, you pose I, at the I cameras and the News of the World photographer. Well, last like question. There. Is the public still with you on this? Uh, well, sadly not. But the, you've got to get sadly. rid of the emotion so you can think about it rationally. And the world, you know, Britain will be a poorer <laughs> place without it. All right. We've got to end it there. Thank you all very much. Thanks for coming. Well, the revelations about the hacking.